Hello, magic creators, magic beings. So this is a guidance for the Capricorn season. Welcome to the jungle first. Uh, you can see on my background, I'm in the south coast of Sri Lanka, and this is a uh, part of the view I have in my new home. So welcome home in the jungle. There's so much happening, isn't it? <laughs> As always, a lot is happening. So the sun uh, is going to transit into Capricorn and, and it's going to journey through the sign of Capricorn for a month and then it will be in Aquarius. So now we're completing the season in Sagittarius. The sun will ingress Capricorn the 20, 21st of December and the 23rd will have the new moon, which means the moon will align and join uh, the sun in the sign of Capricorn. And then we'll have the full moon when the moon will go around and be opposite the 7th of January. So it's always happening like that. Every 14 days we have a full moon and 14 days we have a new moon. Um, and what's happening is in Capricorn now we have Mercury, we have Venus and we still have Pluto that's been here for quite a while in the last few degrees of Capricorn. So what does it mean? It just means there is a lot of Capricorn energy that is uh, like it's emphasized this Capricorn energy. So Capricorn. So personally, I love Capricorn energy. I am so, so I have uh, some planets in my chart in Capricorn. So I've been joining and learning how to uh, empower this um, energy. The Capricorn vibe. Capricorn is a nurse uh, cardinal sign first. So for me, Capricorn is setting a new um, direction and it's, it's not setting the new direction. Oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to start doing that. This is new. It's just coming into a new materiality to really support our direction and to keep going on the ground. Uh, to go further. There's something about perseverance about Capricorn. Capricorn goes to its goal. It's, it has determination and it keeps going for it slowly with persistence. Capricorn knows that it takes time and it takes effort and perseverance to achieve, to build, to construct. Um, and it doesn't mean that the goal might change, you know, once you build a house, uh, you're not going to keep building and, 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 and be too much in your house like that. You might go into building another house. Um, yeah, I'm talking about home because I'm home and I can see the wall just right here. <laughs> um, so there is this materiality, this earthiness uh, with Capricorn, this physicality as well, because remember that any kind of materiality in our outside reflects our body. Our first materiality is our human physical body. So for our health, for example, uh, Capricorn is also teaching us that a strong, supportive discipline is important to support our body uh, through our health, through the ages that are passing and the years that are passing and uh, us growing on in age. <laughs> I'm having a very interesting time uh, with my Mercury. It, I call it the Mercury. I'm having a Mercury interesting time these days. So. <laughs> in my words I'm being repeated and it's a bit weird that's just the period I'm going through it's all going to clarify on time it just makes me laugh actually Mercury is going retrograde at the end of December in Capricorn and for the full moon the sun will be with Mercury retrograde so we're gonna maybe that's why it's happening now we're gonna experience a Mercury retrograde in Capricorn the peacocks so funny they're so loud it's a very funny, very funny music uh, coming from the peacocks. And um, so, yeah, I'm being disturbed. It's perfect. So Capricorn will bring you back on the track. I like seeing the track with Capricorn. Capricorn is this, uh, I, li I like the symbol of the mountain goat. It's actually symbolized by the goat. Um, you know, when you observe goats and mountain goats, they're going to make their way. And they're going to take the time to make their way. 
Um, I've had the chance to be in Crete, in, in this South Island part of Greece now, but this Crete Island. And I've been observing the mountain goats and they're on the side of the cliff in this, I don't know how they're standing there. There might be this little rock like sticking out of the side of the cliff and you look at the goat and it's just doing its thing with the grass. I don't know why it's here, but it's there. And it seems very happy to be there. And it's going to find a way out as well, because you observe the goat, you're like, how did this goat got there? And how did this goat got out? You know, <laughs> it's going to get out of there. So this, for me, is very Capricorn. So it's like, you're going, you're making your way step by step, and you just trust that. <laughs> because if you take the time at every step, and if every step is made with peace, knowing that you support yourself, that you have a strong self-care, well, it's going to lead you to, to a safe space in a way. With Capricorn, there is also this so words, keywords for Capricorn, authority, discipline, structure, um, perseverance. I like determination as well. I think it goes with perseverance. And first, I'm inviting you <laughs> to feel inside just close your eyes now, I'm going to repeat, and to feel the reaction happening inside of you when I say discipline, authority, structure. Yeah. So this might trigger some interesting reaction. Observe. Because those reactions may have been conditioned by the society, you know, by the education you've had. Because when we think about authority, authority, or discipline, or structure, that might feel constricted, that might feel repressive, that might feel just not nice. Now, you know, like the body is like, oh, no. There is often when, when we, in, in our society, the common feeling and the common attachment going with those words is not freedom. Um, it's, yeah, as I said, repression and, and, um, having to do things in one way, not feeling like uh, free to do it another way, the rules and, and all those things that are just on blocking, blocking, blocking. That can have, obviously I'm not saying it's you, but that's a general thing that I've been feeling and that I've had to break through from as well, because I'm coming from the same society. <laughs> but there is a way to transform and to step into a new paradigm and to really enjoy this, this word and this concept. Because the structure, thank you for the structure of my physical body, the structure of my skeleton. I can stand, I can have mobility. Thank you for my discipline. I, I feel free to be. For me, discipline is creating this routine that can hold me in all my being and hold me to just be me, to create more, to express more, because I know this discipline is, is, is nourishing me, simply. My self-care discipline, any kind of discipline. It's nice because when you have a discipline, it creates those moments. For example, in your day, you have this moment to do your discipline. Well, outside of it, you're free. <laughs> That's a way of seeing because even in your discipline, you're very free um, to move and to do as you please. So it's interesting to observe where control comes in when we talk about authority and discipline and structure. I'm not talking about control here. Control is something very different. It's not because there is authority that there is control on, on, my, on my behavior, on how I have to think, on, on who I am. So that's very interesting to observe how discipline, authority, and structure are resonating with you. And that's why I'm telling those words again and again and again. We're going to trigger what needs to be triggered here. <laughs> it's very good to journal about those things, to observe where the reaction is, is coming from. But we don't really need, you know, to, to know exactly the why. The why am I feeling like that? Why is this happening to me? Why don't I feel comfortable with that? Just observing the reaction and the fact we may be not comfortable with that is enough to transform and to go forward, to, to break through like that. Oh, I'm going to break through from this repressive authority that I don't want. Authority, question. Where is your authority coming from? 
because in the general education that I've been observing among many countries and cultures and also my own, authority often comes from the outside. There is a government, there is a religion, there is a parent, there is a teacher, there is the rules of the, the, the whatever space you're in, like this authority is so much outside that we forget that our own authority is coming from inside. How do I direct myself? How do I parent myself? So Capricorn is opposite Cancer. There is something about parenting with Capricorn. The, the parenting um, energy, the parenting archetype that's holding that's holding the child for it to be supported to create its own way. So it's important here how structure con contains, you know, a structure contains you. But as we observe, the skeleton is a structure that contains, in a way, our body all together around it. So it's interesting to observe also the, the container. So as usual, I'm moving from words to words and <laughs> I am not getting lost. I'm just showing you that there's many ways to observe and many possibilities. It's just really nice for yourself to open up, to open up. If there is one reaction, okay, this reaction is here. Is, is it like, maybe there is a way to open up this reaction and to react another way and to maybe feel more free in my life because I feel with the Capricorn energy, it might feel like a bit this repression thing because authority, because discipline, and because whatever is happening all around the world, that can feel very constricted, constricting, caging. Huh? Yeah, because a, a container can be a cage as well. But you know, it's very nice, I'm going to take the, the cage or the chicken coop, that's a nice example, or the home. I don't know. I can talk about chicken, but I can talk about humans as well. So the chicken coop or your home, it's so nice to be able to get out of it, but to come back to it. For example, for me, I've been, it's been a few weeks. I'm in Sri Lanka now and I, and I had the, the call to come here and I felt I will, I will find a new magic home here. I just had no idea where it was. I just have no idea of anything about this home. I just had the feeling of it. As I move around the world a lot and I create a lot of magic homes, there is this feeling of home and, and I feel when it's the home, when it's a building for me to be home and take the space and create the magic home I'm, I want to create and I'm creating. And so I've been moving a lot and so going in many different uh, households. And uh, finally, when I came here, oh, I could feel it. I suddenly felt that my being had the space to fully be. And that's what is home for me. It's when I have the space to fully be me. And I, when I feel free to be vulnerable, free to go crazy, free to, to just move the way I feel, free to, to have the space, I call it the psychic space. When I have the, the psychic space to just be me, and the physical space as well, but there's physical space everywhere. You know, you go out of your world, there is space. Um, so for me, it's more this like energetic psychic space I'm talking about, uh, when I, when I've been looking for a home, that's what important to me. Some of the people might have like what I mean for you home, your home space might need to have something different. I like having, I, I live more in like very empty furniture, warehouse, home space, because I just like having this physical space and because I like moving around, that's it. But I really enjoy going at friend's house when it's all very cozy with many, a lot of furniture around and stuff. I like it very nice, but that's not my home. <laughs> I need to move. <laughs> so see, first home. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how Capricorn is calling me a lot with home, but so cancer, cancer has a sense of home as well. So again, cancer and Capricorn really complete each other. So your physical, home is where you, you feel safe to be, is where you feel free. So the first one is the body. Do you feel free to be yourself with your own self and with your body? How is your mobility? Do you care for your mobility? Do you have a discipline to nourish and care and heal your own mobility, you know, and nourish your health on that, on the physicality? And also how is this express and project outside? How is a home space? How is your, how is your structure of your life, you know, your, your, your job space, your 
transportation space, I don't know, but this physicality of it. Ah, I feel I'm talking a lot. This Mercury playing with me. No, I love talking. Like, I can say it's because of this, but no, it's just me. I just love talking. Um, so there's a lot of movement in Capricorn. Uh, it's interesting Mercury is inside as well. So maybe it's opening the communication about our spaces, about uh, authority, about uh, discipline. Maybe it's time to express about that and to say, well, I, I am the own commander of my life. I am my own authority. I am my own parent. You know, we grow up, we still have parents, but you with yourself, you are your own parent. How do you parent yourself? How you, do you care for yourself? How do you support yourself? Because for Capricorn to keep going on the distance, it has to care for itself. You know, if you keep rushing all the time, you become exhausted. And then <gasps> it's difficult to keep up the distance. But if you really connect with the energy you have now and you have this discipline to nourish yourself and to regenerate your energy, it really sustains you to keep going on. You might change rhythm. It's okay to change rhythm. What I mean, the weather changes, everything changes all the time. But at least you sustaining yourself and you're not burning out or feeling exhausted or however word you want to, to, to put on that state of like, yeah, exhaustion or burnout. Like I'm repeating myself, it's great. Um, yeah. Wow, it's nice when it quiets down. Peace. And there is Mac, uh, Venus as well. So Venus it's, uh, is, uh, has something to do as well. Her vibe is, so it's the feminine energy. Capricorn can be very masculine energy. Doesn't mean it is a masculine energy. It has this, this masculine vibe of this, you know, being grounded and, and holding, um, this parental energy that's holding and supporting you again. And it's so nice to have, uh, Venus in Capricorn because it sparks the feminine side of Capricorn. Um, so I'm just going to say that I'm going to let you reflect about that. That might be another video about all this energy or not. I know I'm going to talk to you more about discipline and how to, to create what discipline can be and how discipline can be awesome because I love discipline. <laughs> <laughs> and when you see myself, you might not think that, uh, like me living around, you might not think that I'm a disciplined person. But I guess having the luxury to be crazy and flowy is because I have a discipline and I have a, um, a place that I call home to come back to and to really recharge myself. I was chatting with friends recently and, and what's keep coming up, it's like how our social life is sustained by our, our home life by being on our own. Because I also feel this Capricorn energy is, um, Capricorn is a sign, like the last few signs of the Zodiac are really into the, the, um, the collective. But with Capricorn, it's for the collective, but there's a sense of leadership with Capricorn. Capricorn is going, it's going. It's going and it's going for the collective, but it's not waiting for anyone to go. It's just going step by step and at its own pace at the train. Yeah, everyone, you're on space and pace. All right, I'm going to take the train and it's time maybe to switch off. It's been a lot of talking. <laughs> ah. So no matter uh, the names of the planets and no matter the different guidances that are coming around and what other people are doing, everything you need to know is inside your body. So as usual, Remember to connect with your physical sensation and to care for your physicality because your body is your vehicle in this human life on earth. So your body knows. Connect with that and trust this body. Um, yeah. Thank you. We're good. We're good. 
I wish you a beautiful time with yourself. Life is cycling, you're progressing, you're achieving your life by just being here right now with yourself. So trust yourself and uh, keep, keep playing, keep playing and exploring. <laughs> Life is a bit funky. <laughs> oh, I send you love. And remember, you're loved and you're supported on your journey. Ciao, see you. <laughs>